overflows. Love is God. Without love, a man stands alone. He is separated from the core of existence. Without love, everyone is a lone entity, lacking any connection with other of its kind. Love is the only communion. If you have not love blossomed within, you cannot commune with another person. Today, man finds himself totally alone. We are all shut off from each other, trapped within ourselves, within our own golden cages, within our narrow boundaries. This is like being in a grave. In the absence of love, you are living in a grave. Even though you may be alive, but it is only a corpse. Do you see the truth in what I am saying? Are you really alive? Love gives you aliveness. Love is the energy that flows within. Love's fragrance radiates through you. Do you feel the flow of love in your veins? If you do not feel that flow, if throbbing of love in your heart has ceased, then you should understand well that you are not really alive at all. One in whom love has not blossomed is not alive anymore. Love is aliveness, love is energy. The most valuable word, the most valuable word in human vocabulary is love, not even God. This may surprise you, but it is true. Indeed, love is God. Not otherwise, as Jesus said, God is love. That was true then, but now man has to evolve love. Man has to evolve. Love alone is godly. And if love has blossomed in you, only then you are alive. So love is the most important energy or whatsoever you may give it a name. Truth is to be known. Rising on the ray of love, one can enter the enlightened kingdom of God. Riding the ray of love, one can enter the enlightened kingdom of God. It is better to say, love is God than to say truth is God. It is so because the harmony, the beauty, the vitality and the bliss that are part of love are not part of truth. Love brings harmony, bliss, vitality, beauty, fragrance. Truth is to be known, discovered. On the other hand, love is to be felt as well as known. Truth has to be known, discovered. Love has to be felt deep within. And when you feel love within, then you have known it and then it will radiate through you. 
the growth and perfection of love leads to ultimate merger with God, awakening or enlightenment. The growth and perfection of love leads to ultimate merger with God, awakening or enlightenment. The greatest poverty of all is the absence of love. If love has not blossomed in your life, you are poor, a beggar. Your life is like that of a vagrant. The man who has not developed the capacity to love in, is in a private hell of his own creation. A man who is filled with love, one in whom the reservoir of love has opened, is in heaven. You can look at man as a wonderful and unique plant, a plant that is capable of producing both nectar and poison. Both, a plant that is capable of producing both nectar and poison. A man who lives by hate, he reaps a harvest of poison all around. If he lives by love, he gathers blossomed laden with nectar. He gathers blossoms laden with nectar. I have watched mankind moving from one perversion to another. In the absence of love, life becomes a perversion. It is as if some fiber essential to life has been destroyed within him. It is as if some fiber essential to life has been destroyed by him and within human civilization as well. Love is that essential fiber which is necessary for the sustenance, for the growth, for the blossoming of life. Not only the individual, all the society is living within a framework that has become perverted and twisted. Its discordant note echo throughout the world. The way the society is, its discordant, untuned notes echo throughout the world and the harmony that a sound culture creates is nowhere to be heard. No instrument is as out of tune as a man. Man as a musical instrument is out of tune. Love is the only thing that tunes the man. And just as a stone causes ripples across the surface of a silent lake, the perversity of one man can agitate the whole of humanity and this is what it is happening. No instrument is as out of tune as a man. And just as a stone causes ripples across the silent surface of a lake, the perversity of one person can agitate the whole of humanity. A man may be an individual, 
but its roots are in the corporate body of mankind is part of the corporate body of the mankind each man's infection is tremendously con contagious if you are overflowing with love it becomes contagious and if you are filled with hate perversion then that too is contagious what is the disease that affects our century many diseases have been isolated but i wish to point out one in particular that in my opinion is at the root of all other afflictions whenever a man is overcome by this fundamental illness he turns to suicidal destruction what name shall i give to this disease it is not easy to name it the best can i can do is to call it the drying up of the well of love the moment the well of love dries up in human heart that is the greatest disease and the root of all diseases if nectar of love continues to overflow within <coughs> it will radiate through your very presence through words through gestures and in many ways everyone is afflicted with this absence of love our hearts are not functioning at all there can be no greater misfortune in a man's life than the absence of love there can be no greater misfortune in the life of a man than the absence of love without love his relationship with life is severed it is love that connects us to the whole it it is love that connects you to the sentient and insentient the plant the rivers the mountains the trees everything without love a man stands alone separated from the core of existence separated from the core of existence without love he is a lone entity lacking any connection with the other of his kind today man finds himself totally alone we are shut off from each other trapped within ourselves this is like being in the grave even though we are alive but living like a corpse do you see the truth in what i am saying are you really alive do you feel the flow of love in your veins if you do not feel that flow if the throbbing of love in your heart has ceased then you should understand well that you are not ready you are not really alive at all if love is not flowing within you then you should understand that you are not really alive at all enough for now